What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. I remember when I was first starting out on YouTube, one of my very first videos was a day in the life of a data analyst. I've been working at this Fortune 10 company for about a year and I was like, this would be a really cool video to make to kind of show people what I do. I shared about when I woke up, when I got to work, what I actually did, the type of work that I worked on, the tools that I used when I left, and I thought it was pretty helpful. But with the rise of TikTok and Instagram Reels and Shorts and all these different things, a lot more people are sharing what they do day to day in their data job. Come spend a day in a life with me as a data analyst in New York. Got to the office a little after nine this morning. Today was pretty light on meetings, so was able to go heads down for most of the day to get some work done. So I went through Bryant Park to get some lunch, and if I'm in the office, there's a really high chance that I'm eating at Kava. After work, I went to an open house because I'm thinking about moving. That is an entirely separate video, but the one thing I've learned about apartment hunting in the city is that you can't have everything. I stopped by my friend's place to see her new puppy, and I'm not sure if you guys remember that crane that fell on an apartment building, He's not working. but that was my friend's apartment. Finally, capped off the day with a late night tennis session back in Brooklyn. I didn't learn anything about what he does as a data analyst or the life of a data analyst because he basically said he got into work, he does some work, he leaves at lunch to go get lunch, and then he went to his friend's apartment, went to go pet their dog, and now he's playing tennis on like a rooftop or something. I don't know. I have absolutely no idea what he does as a data analyst. Uh, I've seen so many videos like this though. I'm like, what do you actually do besides eating and hanging out? I don't know why people post things like this because it makes it seem like they don't do their job. <laughs> All right, so in this one, I feel like I actually got some sense of what he does. And I thought it was cool that he added some of his background as well, because he used to work in a call center, but then he broke into data analytics. I don't know why, but the music kind of made me sad. I felt like he was very lonely. I don't know if he, you know, he lives alone and he's just working from home all the time. And that's why he was going on the long walk. It is nice when you work from home, because I also work from home. It's nice when you get to go out and do something else other than just sit at a desk all day. But it seemed like this dude had a great setup, especially with his coffee and his food and the work and, you know, working in sequels. Like, this guy has a sweet setup. I'm a data analyst. I'm in extreme darkness. Why? I don't like data analysts. So don't do it. <laughs> But the only problem is the visa status and all uh, to maintain all that. Every day I wake up, it's, it's extreme pain. Well, then you should go back. Life's about choices. Choose the extreme pain yeah. for the visa, or you could go back. To be with my parents. There are so many things. Those are not the two worst options. <laughs> all right, geez. This guy was like, I work as a data analyst. I'm in extreme darkness and pain. Like, whoa. Um, this guy is Gary V, by the way. A lot of people ask for his advice because he's a big entrepreneur. But it sounds like this guy is on a visa status, either in the US or Canada or somewhere like that. And so if he decides to quit data and analytics, he's gonna have to go back and live with his parents. And he's like, I don't wanna do that. And I get it. I love my parents, but I wouldn't want to live with them either. But I will say some people who work as a data analyst, and I've met them, do not like data. They're like over it. They're like, this sucks. I hate this. This is like the worst thing ever. And that's like every single day for them. That is their day in the life of a data analyst. It's not fun. They don't enjoy it. And so for some people, that is like not the career path for them. It sounds like this dude is like, that is not what he wants to be doing. Bro, pick a lane. I'm gonna stop right there. Uh, so I, the, first off, this dude's having fun. He's enjoying life. Um, but he gets in, he starts work at eight, and then he stops to eat breakfast at 8.30. Why don't we just eat breakfast before? Why don't we just eat breakfast, you know, before we leave our house? I don't, I don't understand that. All right, let's keep going. All 
right, so I don't think that was a full day. It just went to like lunch, but he was working on things like SQL store procedures and some machine learning data and then whiteboarding and like mapping things out. These are 100% things that you will work on as a data analyst. Of course, it depends on the company, but you're gonna be working in databases, you're gonna be whiteboarding things, you'll be having meetings. These are all normal things that you do as a data analyst. I don't know why, but there's a theme for a lot of these types of videos where it's just a lot of people eating food. Uh, I don't know why that's a thing. Maybe people like that, or they just like sharing what they're eating to be a foodie. I don't know, but that is 100% a thing on the internet. Hi, I'm a data analyst. Am I good at things? No. Am I completely average at everything? Yes, and that's okay, because I'm supposed to be a jack of all trades. Most people, when they think of data analysts, they think it's a technical role. Let me ask you this question. How can a role be technical if 90% of my time is spent in Microsoft PowerPoint? There are the few data analysts that think they're software engineers after writing a simple select statement in SQL. I'm 99% sure that this guy is a comedian, but even if he is not, I do like this guy because he's to the point, he says what he means, and it is funny in my opinion. I don't actually know what this guy does in his life as a data analyst, but I do agree that data analysts are kind of the jack of all trades. We kind of communicate with the business side, and so we need to be able to be a little bit more outgoing and be able to talk to people. But we aren't software engineers or data engineers where we're doing an immense amount of coding. We kind of sit in the middle and we have like our hands in a lot of different things. I hope this guy has a better experience uh, with his career going forward though. That is unfortunate. So she's a financial analyst. This is a different one. Let's see what, uh, let's see what she does. Another person eating breakfast. I, I don't, a lot of food, a lot of food in these videos. They're definitely star but then <laughs> at this point I'm just watching people eat lunches <laughs> Is that just the ones that aren't in the spreadsheet yet? All right, so that was about 8 to 5.30, which is kind of a long day. Usually it's like 8 to 4 or 9 to 5. But 8 to 5.30, I believe, is nine and a half hours, which is a long work day. I know personally, I usually like to get out there right when I hit that eight hours. But it seemed like what she was doing was pretty accurate to being a financial analyst. A lot of budgets, a lot of planning for, you know, the, the future fiscal year and looking forward for future budgets for the company. That's a lot of what a financial analyst will do. Again, with a lot of food, I mean, people love sharing what they're eating. It's not my thing. That's all I'll say. It's not my thing to kind of watch people eat food. Uh, I don't personally enjoy it, but sure, why not? People can enjoy different things. Work from home with me as a data analyst. Everything so far looks very accurate. More food. Oh, she's got a standing desk. I never had, uh, no, I did have one of those, uh, but I never used it standing up. I didn't like it that much. All right, so that looked pretty accurate to me, right? You get in, you check some emails, you get in some meetings, you take your lunch break, you get in more meetings, you do a little bit of work, you take some notes. I mean, as unfancy as that sounds, that actually is what a lot of people do as a data analyst. It's a lot of meetings. You'll do your actual work for maybe a few hours of the day, but a lot of it is talking with clients and talking with managers, talking with other team members, being in meetings. It's a lot of communication skills uh, that is needed for this type of work. All right, so we have a healthcare data analyst. I don't want to give no ultimatum. If you want to come lay up, if you want to come stay up, if you want to come pay up, but you know you got work in the morning, then wake up yawning, trying to keep up with a real one, don't got no Okay. 
All right, so it sounds like she just responds to a lot of emails, which isn't wrong. I remember I'd get tons of emails and that's what I would do for the first like hour of the day usually when I logged in. It would just be responding to clients, responding to my manager, responding to my project manager, all these different things. And then she did some data verification, which who knows you know, what she was actually working with, but data verification, just making sure that the data is correct. It was sent how it was supposed to send, all these different things. That's absolutely something that you will do, but I don't usually answer emails for the entire day. Uh, that is, in my opinion, a bit excessive, but that maybe is just her job. Some of those I found very accurate. Some of them just were all about the food and I didn't understand it at all because most jobs you actually do work. Um, some jobs, I guess they just like people eating food a lot and that's okay. You know, if they wanna hire them to eat food, that's great. But hopefully you got a sense of what other people do as a data analyst. I found that quite interesting. If you're a data analyst, I would love to know a little bit about your day. Go ahead and leave a comment down below of what you do in your data analyst job. If you like this video, be sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.